setting and basically that is the Q selector on setting one the Q dial on the left hand side of the pedal is all the way off and the DB boost is all the way up so you have this kind of classic wah tone that's what I sound like dry same setting but I've turned the Q control up and I've also changed the uh, position of the tonal selector to setting 2 and I've also cleaned up my guitar tone just a little bit so it has kind of a funkier sound. <laughs> setting is kind of more of a less a clean channel on my amp and I'm just going to play kind of a funk uh, groove with the wah pedal. <laughs> So basically I'm going to explain what a wah pedal actually does or what it is. It's basically a foot control potentiometer, almost like your tone pot on your guitar. And you can emulate a wah just with your tone control on your guitar. But it's a lot easier to do it with your foot like this. And it's going to range from with your toe down, a really bright sound, to a really bassy sound all the way back. And then when you sweep it between those two points, you're going to get a variety of different sounds. Well, aside from sweeping your foot back and forth with a wah pedal, you can also kick it on and just leave it set at a certain position, and you can use it as a tone filter, uh, like Kirk Hammett, Joe Satriani, and a lot of players do. So with, with the wah off, my tone sounds like this. With the wah on, and as a filter. And I could set it somewhere else. The, uh, the video for the 535Q. Uh, I want to thank Jason Sturgeon, my cameraman Brett Houchin, and John with Jen Dunlop. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks. Hey.